Good morning, everybody. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's not in a school class, I guess. Um, yeah, warm welcome and good morning to everybody. I would like to welcome all the participants of this impressive conference. Dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really happy and very, very honored to be the host of this conference here at the headquarters of the Heinrich Boll Foundation. I would finally like to welcome you all to this conference, and I say finally because this is to indicate that the conference has been in preparation for a period, I would say, for almost 18 months, even longer, I would say, because I will refer to that, the idea already erased in the midst of the last centennial. This conference was initiated by the Radius of Art Project Office of the Heinrich Boll Foundation in Schleswig-Holstein, Kiel. This is the northern state of Germany. For those who are not familiar with the German states, it's the northest state of Germany. This conference is part of the Radius Project Art-Based Research, Research-Based Art which is the result of a cooperation of a number of partners. These are the Mutetius Academy of Fine Arts in Kiel and the Department of Culture and Further Education, City of Kiel. And, of course, many, many international partners, such as the Project 505033 in Istanbul, the 98th week research space in Beirut, the University of Ulster in Belfast, the independent study program Mamaus in Lisbon, and the International Academy of Arts Palestine. I would really already say at this moment, this is a real outstanding group of cooperation of cooperation partners, and I think this is in itself really a great success already. Once again, I would like to welcome all those representing here the respective organizations and groups, and all those associated with partner, associated partners of Radios of Art, such as the Professional Association of Visual Artists Berlin. The Radius of Art project has been funded by the European Union and by the Anna Lind Euro Mediterranean Foundation for the Dialogue Between Cultures. Thank you all for being here, for your commitments and the lively and fruitful cooperation over the years. The initial idea to organize such a conference has already been conceived several years ago. The motive was to bring together scientists, activists, and policymakers who share a transdisciplinary approach and who believe that the integration of art practices of their respective works would create new visions, perspectives, and insights. The idea for such a conference was born about the time when the UNESCO Convention on the Protection and Promotion of the Diversity of Cultural Expressions was approved by the UNESCO General Assembly in the year 2005, October 2005. Germany was among the strongest supporters of the convention, and I was personally engaged in the discussions here in Germany as a member of the German Commission of UNESCO. The Heinrich Böll Stiftung around in the midst of uh, 2004-2005 yeah, organized several debates and, public, and, and published a lot of uh, uh, articles around um, the convention itself. So we are really one of, I would say, the promoters of the convention. And uh, this is, I think... The, um, important for you to know that we have been engaged uh, from the very beginning in that convention. One of the guiding principles of the convention is the cultural wealth of this world is its diversity in dialogue. This 
I hope so, is also the principle of this conference, uh, because I think there's such a diversity around here, and this is a real, I would say, a treasure. But the convention also emphasizes the need to incorporate culture as a strategic element in national and international development policies, as well as in international development cooperation. These principles, among others, inform policies and project support of the Goethe Institute, the Institute for Foreign Cultural Relations, the GIZ, Deutsche Gesellschaft für Internationale Zusammenarbeit, the Allianz Cultural Foundation, and along with the Kulturkarawane in Hamburg, the Anna Lind Foundation in Alexandria, the German Commission for UNESCO in Bonn, the Univers University of Hildesheim's Department for Cultural Policy, the Robert Bosch Foundation, all these partners approached and have joined the Kiel and Heinrich Bill headquarters office in preparing this conference. We are all sharing the commitment to make sure that the UNESCO Convention is translated into concrete steps and is more than just lip service. This broad coalition in itself is extraordinary and I hope as well a promise for the future. This is not just a single event, I hope, but a promise for the future to work together to really put the convention into practice. In addition to what I have just said about the motives of the partners in this conference, the Heinrich Böll Foundation in Berlin, with its 29 offices worldwide, has for many years been consistently engaged in the search for pathways of transformation towards sustainability. Climate justice, resource efficiency, social transformation, democratic participation is the is are the issues of the Heinrich Böll Foundation implemented with a huge amount of partners in our, I repeat it again, 29 offices worldwide. We have right now arts, artists here around uh, in our project Survive Art, 10 artists from uh, different countries. What we would like to do is really to implement our understanding of cultural politics and cultural policies, our understanding on transformation really as well in our project activities in the respective countries where we are present. We need to understand that alongside the social, economic and ecological dimensions of sustainability, culture is the fourth dimension related to the emergence of cultures of sustainability. Also, we recognize this. There have been very few experiments with this dimension that are capable of generating further action and practices. We need definitely policies in support of and in full recognition of the cultural potential of art, in particular in social transformation processes. To put this into concrete terms, this means support for artistic proposals responding to contexts of poverty and social exclusion, as well as building collective platforms for the mobilization of different social players towards public causes, such as social integration, effective citizenship, human rights, multicultural dialogue, and social equity. In June this year, the international community will meet again in Rio de Janeiro, 20 years after the Earth Summit, uh, to discuss issues such as green economy and institutional reforms. We see this conference as, as a small contribution to the again, unfortunately, missing link of culture for in the preparation of that conference, Rio Plus 20. We would really like to see that culture is more really part 
of the full four dimensions as we interpret and how we look towards sustainability. I think the Heinrich Böll Foundation is very much interested in art toward cultures of sustainability, and this is why a team here at the Heinrich Böll Foundation conceptualized a project named after art toward cultures, cultures of sustainability. Alongside with the support from Cultura 21, a network transversal, translo translocal platform for the promotion of cultural change and cultural evolution. We worked together in make this idea of art towards sustainability more lively, more understandable, and you will get a lot of, I would say, insights here over the conference. An essay titled Toward Global Environmental Change Transformative Art and Cultures of Sustainability is another contribution to this conference and a contribution in the preparation of the discussions at the Rio Plus 20 conference uh, in coming soon. We strongly believe that art is not just a means or a medium. Art has an immense, immense potential for social transformation and empowerment within communities. It can support the active process of helping to understand and displaying interdependencies between different dimensions of human crisis. It is art in public space, art in the public interest, and art as public interest that we must promote reoccupying and transforming the communication spaces within cities. It is the intuitive, transformative power of art that we need to explore and to bring to fruition through the support and acknowledgement of artists' works and their projects. Therefore, we also have to discuss in this conference what type of financial, structural or institutional support is needed to facilitate international cultural and artistic projects. For years, there has been an ongoing debate in Germany over sectoral and departmental responsibilities between different ministries. None or not much has been taken so far in developing integrative funding designs that can cope with recent developments and trends of the transdisciplinary, transdisciplinary nature of project designs. But this is not just a problem we face here in Germany. There is also a lack of appropriate funding structures internationally and a lack, and this is very important, I would say, for this conference as well, a lack of democratic participation in their designs. We really have to ask together that we want to be part of the designs of future funding structures and not just leave it to the bureaucrats and to the ministerial offices. To this point, we hope that the conference... Will this conference will inspire impulses that we can carry into national and international policy-making processes. One concrete idea, a fund for aesthetics and sustainability, has been developed for this conference and will be presented, um, I guess, tomorrow in the morning forum, and the print version will be made available for those who are interested in new ideas, how to design new funding structures for our approach of transdisciplinary project designs for uh, a future of arts for sustainability. This conference seeks to influence the cultural politics of the future. This is a high aspiration. The Heinrich Böll Foundation wants to contribute to its design and
and therefore supports, and I said it already, worldwide, visionaries and pioneers of social and ecological innovation processes. Artists are, among other things, of course, special agents in this urgently needed cultural transformation process. Such a paradigm shift we are looking for implies reforming our ways of learning and acting upon our knowledge of reality. Aesthetics is the sum of all our perceptions. It helps us to understand complex systems. And we all together should not be afraid of complexity. We should help to understand it. This power of perception is not an exclusive free arm of art, but should be claimed, reclaimed by each and every one of us. This is why the Heinrich Böll Foundation and all of our supporting partners have come together in the preparation of this conference. Let me summarize. <coughs> our mission is to promote cultural policies and funding designs that support art for social transformation processes towards cultures of sustainability. We also wish to explore the potentials of art for the public sphere and the new dimensions of knowledge productions that research-based art and art-based research can offer. I once again would like to thank each and every one of you for your interest in this conference for your enduring commitment over the years. Thank you so much for coming to Germany from 36 different countries to debate, network, listen, practice and learn over the next two days and I would guess even nights. As a matter of principles, I have refrained from the temptation to welcome any of you individually, because it would be an impossible long list of so many extraordinary people sitting here in this room. Let me once more express my sincere gratitude to the representatives of all cooperation and support partners of this conference. All of you have mobilized your partner networks to bring in ideas and great contributions to shape the program of this conference. Thank you all for your intellectual support and for making this conference a success. I'm very much looking forward to all your contributions. It's my pleasure now to invite Dirk Schelje, member of the board of the Heinrich Böll Foundation Schleswig-Holstein in the city of Kiel, to welcome you once again and from his perspectives, with his words, and to introduce the format and the work workflow of the conference. Once again, thank you very much for your attention. I really hope that this two days meeting is bringing us forward for all what we share, a vision of a culture of sustainability. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much, Barbara. Uh, also from my side, a very warm welcome to this conference. Um, we, I, I, as a representative of all the partners, organizations, and one of the initiati initiators of this conference, I'm very proud to see all you here now. And we had that, Baba said, 18 months uh, work on this uh, conference now to see.
see everybody here. It's, it's very, very fine scene. My part now, and I'm, I'm very glad to do this, is to introduce you in the workflow and the semantic perspectives of this conference and how we will work the two days together. As Barbara said, this conference is on the background of the UN Convention of Cultural Diversity. And the first thing we did is to elaborate thematic streams, how we can uh, work on this convention, not to be too abstract. We wanted to be very concrete. We want to work on concrete experiences from people all over the world in cultural cooperation. And for this, we found that four thematic streams you will find in the program. The first, and it will be the theme of the first plenary session we have directly after this introduction, uh, is art for social transformation, with uh, many approaches all over the world, especially in South America and other where, where artists, uh, where we look on artists as change agents in transformation of society. The second stream, Baba told you, is uh, that perspective, art, um, in, the, in the issue of sustainability, we call it art towards cultures for sustainability. We work long on these words to find the right words to say it, and don't make it too political, make it artistical. The second is Public art, what we understand for that, uh, under that, uh, the being artists handling the public sphere and also the history, the remembering, all that what brings society together and what artists make with this. And as a framework, it is a force stream. What we need for policy on this, policy on this, and what, what structures we need and what funding we need. We don't want to forget this. We want to make also to tell the politics what is necessary to promote cultures all over the world if they take their part in the society development. And along these four streams, we developed the program. And now I, can, I asked some people to come here rep uh, who represent that four streams, and you will find them all the two days, and can, can ask them everything for this conference, and they are the representatives of those four streams, and I asked them to come here in front that you can see, and I can introduce them, because you can see that 12 people have been working on the program, and I can introduce them. First, it's Katrin Eckstein. She is a representative with a blue scarf. You can <laughs> see with the scarves. And you will find it also here in the program, the same colors, the blue. It's art for social transformation. <laughs> and you see Anke Müffelmann here. It's with a red. And Susanne Bosch comes on her side. That's public art. Always as red scarves, you can ask for everything around public art. Also organization points, but especially this. Then you have the... You have the yellow ones. It's cultural policy strategies and funding structures. It's Imke Grimmer from the Goethe Institute and Daniel Gatt from the University of Hildesheim. They represent this stream. And at least, last, <laughs> last but not least, it's Heike Löschmann from the Bell Foundation and Sasha Kegon from the University of Lüneburg and uh, Culture 22, uh, 21. <laughs> 22, <yeah. laughs> That's Freud. They represent uh, art towards cultures for sustainability. Ask them if anything. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. And you will find, as I showed you the program, it works along these four streams. In every stream we have one plenary sessions, session. The plenary sessions are here in this room. We had to decide to take more participants for this conference than this room will, can take. It was a very difficult decision, but we thought 
to make the program and all the, the conference round, we needed these people. That was, this conference was for invitation only. We selected everyone and we wanted to have a full auditorium. And so we, say we invited 270 people at all. 270 people will not, can't be in this room altogether. So we have a live stream in the second room here behind this. If you don't find a place in one of the auditorium um, plenary sessions, go there. If you want to, sure that, uh, to be assured that you have a place, come early. That's very important. Or oh, don't leave. <laughs> the second part is for every stream we have two forums. One of the forums will take place here and one of the forums will take place in the directly room behind this. And the third thing we have workshops. And all the workshops take place in the conference rooms directly in front of the other, uh, other side. All events take place on this floor. The eating, the food, you can take downstairs, and also the toilets are downstairs, you have to know. And the most important meeting point will be the staircase, where we, at the end of the conference, tomorrow in the late afternoon, will have a common music uh, event, symphony of the moment. And I hope you all will take part of this. This evening we have the public event, and the next revolution will not be funded. We, also dis <laughs> we discussed what, what should be the central open event of this conference. And this the decision was to make sure that art stands in the middle point. And so this event will uh, discuss about the effects of art, the possible effective effects of art, and discuss around this. And it's a middle point of the thematic things we decided. We have four observers. They go around through the events, four, it connected to the four streams, and they get together their expression, their impressions their, of all what is discussed here. And at the end, tomorrow in the afternoon, before the symphony of the moment, they come together here and share their experiences, share their impressions, and will give us back what we did the two days. And I'm very um, expectful to this. Uh, what will they say? And at the end of the conference, we come together in to, uh, tomorrow evening with a small wine and a snack. So if you uh, look at the program, you see that we have many, many speakers. And we did this because we saw if we make a conference for the UN Convention of Cultural Diversity, you can't invite one to speak for everybody. We have to, to invite many people to show the diversity. That's a fine thing because we can listen to many people. That's not so fine because everyone has only a short part. And we have all for ourselves to see only to focus on the main points. To don't take too much time for yourself, otherwise we will not go right on on the program. That's very, very important. Will yourself focus on the very important points. That's important. And give others the possibility to speak and take time to listen. That's what I might appeal to everybody. I have to say you that there is one mistake in the program. There is written uh, um, a workshop as a forum is artistic practices as curious from dreamers and transformative potential. It's not a forum. It's a workshop and it takes place to, uh, today at quarter past four and uh, half to half past uh, five. All events in this room and this room will be at a live stream in the internet. If you wouldn't have friends or others, you can send email and tell them that they have the possibility to follow the conference also in the, email, uh, in the internet. So, what I have to say, I have to, have to find what I say and what I have to. Okay. So we have some places here where we can have informal meetings. You will find kitchen tables and different places. You will see and you find also in the program 
uh, brochure. Uh, and if you want to meet some people, find, reserve your place, go there and have informal meeting. But if you want to meet special persons, special people, there you, you have the cards here. These different cards, they have different design. And you can write a name on this card. Put it in a couvert di directly in front of this room. There are walls where you can, where are couverts, and you can put it in. And we have fear, four students from Belfast here, from the Ulster University of Belfast, and they bring you together with it per, that people. And this is, so they have the, the, their aim is to bring people here together to work out uh, plans, to share experiences, and so on. And tomorrow, in the afternoon, we have the possibility to see project presentations in one forum, which they, of seven minutes, every seven minutes, you will see a nine, another project pre presentation which works in a special system, and so you have the possibility to see many insights of projects. Okay, I, don't, I hope I didn't, don't forget uh, anything, but now... I have to introduce Professor Wolfgang Schneider, who will be the moderator of the first plenary session to Art for Social Transformation. Wolfgang Schneider is the director of the Department for Cultural Policy at the University at, uh, of Hildesheim. Since 2010, see, he is at personam appointed member of the German Commission for UNESCO. He's a member of different cultural councils uh, within Germany and on international level. For example, from 2003 until 2007, he had been expert member of the Enquete Commission Culture in Germany of the German Parliament, and he's honorary president of SCT International, the International Association of Theatre and Children and Young People. I'm very glad to welcome you, Professor Schneider, and the program of the conference can start. Thank you very much. <laughs>